they have a long snout, I'm not doing a, a bottom to top perspective. That's not gonna freaking happen. You won't be able to see anything. Hey everyone, this is Leanne. We are back at it and was having a conversation with a friend. Today we have snack once again. Don't be don't be shy. You Hello. Die. <laughs> <laughs> Last time when we had a conversation, it was a, just telling each other stories. But this time we're going to actually have a conversation conversation, so we're going to have like a topic to actually discuss. Should, should it or should it not be allowed to copy art styles? And it's kind of hard to ask that question without it sounding weird. But like, I've had people in the past have issues with copying art styles and getting in trouble for it. And I remember having a small conversation with Snack and maybe a couple of other friends about how it doesn't make sense how to. But personally, I don't think there's a way to copy an art style because not only is there so many different people in the world and if everybody draws, you're going to eventually come across similar art styles. But a lot of art styles nowadays are pretty much renditions or copies of other art styles. Like, I... Uh, for TV shows, for example, I don't know if you've noticed, Snack, but a lot of TV shows nowadays have that rubber hose or, like, the, the I don't know, macaroni-shaped mouth. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's, that's not rubber hosing. It's called um, Cal Arts, and it's called Cal Arts because a lot of the uh, animators and artists who are doing that style came from the same college or learned the, the same style from from colleges so i've heard of that actually because i can't remember when i heard of it but people like you said people are going to go to these colleges to learn these art styles and they end up coming back out with all the same art style and i understand not a lot of artists go to college to learn how to draw but after you see so many art styles out there you start getting influenced because wow their art's so good and i want my art to look similar to that and sometimes you might accidentally have your art a little too close to that style or you might branch off and come up with something a little bit different. But at the end of the day, there's only so many different art styles to choose from. And if you really like a specific art style, you're going to try to mimic that art style. I mean, like, I can't personally say that I got mad at people for mimicking the way I drew. Um, I never really had anyone terribly mimic the way I drew. What I find is when... Because I a lot of my friends are artists, right? Like, three off the top of my head. <laughs> but I hang out with a lot of artists. And what I tend to find is that when you spend a lot of time with artists, and, and you're always looking at their art and improving your art, your styles tend to blend. And it, it, it makes sense because, you know, if they know something you don't know, they'll give you tips or techniques that they use. And so, you know naturally whatever you're drawing will start to resemble what what their style looks like because you're using the same uh techniques right yeah that's kind of how like when i first met you i remember you used to do this uh pixel art or at least you drew with a pixel pen it looks so good and i was constantly yeah. scared of stepping on your toes with your art so i i kept asking you hey <laughs> is it okay if i do this and you're like i don't yeah. own it dude go ahead <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't invent the pixel pen, bro. <laughs> you can uh, you can do whatever you want, man. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, you are actually the inspiration for my how I used to draw my hair and how I draw my clothes now because I noticed you use a lot of sharp edges and creases in your clothes. I mean, a lot of people do, but then how you do it is slightly different from how I usually see people do it. Uh. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, growing up, I always had a fascination for art styles. And so I always had this thing to copy the art style to the teeth because I always wanted to be like, oh, wow, your art's not from the TV show or game or movie or whatever. I'm like, yep, I did this myself. And My Little Pony was a big advocate for that. But then I realized I have no personal art style whatsoever. So... It was it's kind of a journey to like figure out what stuff I like. Zootopia right now is a big thing for me as far as art style goes. But yeah, I I think I like stumbled across somebody making a mention. I, I think it was like on TikTok a video 
or something. I can't remember, but like that's what made me think about this conversation again because somebody was getting upset or trying to sue someone because their art style was too similar to someone else's. Is there any cases where like they're? Did you say they're trying to sue them? I yeah, but it was like a while ago. I don't have the video anymore, but like. I know there was a huge problem with the art style being too close, and I'm thinking to myself, you can't really- what grounds do you have as far as art style? How can you sue somebody for somebody's art looking too close to somebody else's? I don't know the logistics of it, but I, I don't even know if you can copyright an art style. I, I'm not the person to be saying anything about this, but I do know that you can copyright an artwork, right? Like an artwork or like a creation like a character you know well i think I, um, that goes without saying <laughs> right but i don't i've never heard of someone copywriting like the the way that they draw the thing or the way that they make it look it's know? just it's an art style is so vague that you can change literally the tiniest thing it can make it completely different your art style is fluid, too. Like, you're not gonna have the same art style forever unless you seriously try really hard to keep it. You know, your art style is constantly changing as you, like, figure out new things and find different things that you like and, and just stuff like your hand steadiness can change it, you know? Definitely. I've noticed that a lot of my characters, no matter how many times I draw them, they always look slightly different. <laughs> yeah. I, I do think if if you have a, a style like that's really distinct, like something you can look at and you're like, oh, I know exactly who drew that, you know that kind of thing. That is is more you know specific. Like you can look at a Ghibli movie and know that it's a Ghibli movie, right? Yeah. Or you can look at a at a knockoff Ghibli movie and and think like, oh, you know, some of the artists and animators who worked with Ghibli are probably working on this film, right? Um, so you can definitely, you know, create and copy an art style, but I I don't think that it should be, you should have legal grounds to, like, sue someone if their art style and the way they're drawing their stuff is similar to yours. Yeah, and um, the point that you're making with specific art styles, usually those things happen across TV shows, or, like, usually media, because... Mm -hmm. A family Guy TV show is going to look exactly the same several years back then. Well, not exactly the same, but very, very, very close. Several years mm -hmm. into, the, like, in the past and probably a couple years into the future. They, they have the exact same art style. And any t future TV shows that they do, like um, American Dad, they have the same art style, but it's probably by, by the same artist. I think if we use the logic that TV shows use... I think there isn't a real way anyone can get in trouble for quote-unquote copying an art style. I, I think it just really depends. Because you can... So, you have the legal grounds if you have a copyrighted artwork or character or whatever. If somebody makes something identical to the artwork that you made, like to a T, you could sue them for stealing it, basically, right? And, um... If you have a character copyrighted, anyone who draws that character, you could sue them for for stealing that character, right? Mm -hmm. um, companies like Nintendo, you know, uh, Nickelodeon, they have all of their car characters and cartoons and all of that stuff. They have it all, like, copyrighted. So if they really, really wanted to, they have the legal grounds to sue anyone who makes fan art of their work. But generally, doing that is frowned upon, and it would make the fans really, really angry, so they don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as, as far as I'm aware, there isn't legal grounds to sue someone for copying and it looking similar. Like, it has to be the exact thing, you know and, what I mean? And that's just impossible. Nobody can, like, make a character. Even with some now, people who are really good at mimicking art styles that can't get it to the T. Right. I would- I, I can't really tell people not to get mad about it, because, I mean, if they're getting upset about it, it's not as if they're, they're in control of, of the, the way they're feeling, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not- So, I'm not. you know- 
I'm not going to say, oh, no one, no one can get mad about that kind of thing. Like, you know, they can. They can't really help it. But I don't think that they should have, you know, the legal grounds to actually take action against it, you know? Definitely. Um, I honestly think it's an honor if somebody really wants to mimic my art style. Mm-hmm. So, like, if someone out there is like, oh, dang, I like the way they draw that character. I want to see if I can draw it like that. And I'm like, I think it's just an honor. Oh, I just had this thought, and this probably, this isn't the same exact thing, but um, in the in the art world, you know, in the industry, uh, if you can copy an art style, you're actually a very valuable artist in animation because you can make the the animation look exactly like it's supposed to every time. So artist has co a concept, right? And the animators have to make it look like the the character that has been designed and animate it and make it f move and stuff like that. So if you can replicate an art style, you can animate it exactly the way that the the creator is envisioning it. I didn't I think about that when I was a uh... Mimicking all these art styles. <laughs> <laughs> this is going along with that that same idea, but if you look at Steven Universe, you know, a lot of people were complaining about the inconsistencies with the character sizes and the animation. Yeah, I've heard about that. And, you know, most of that can be chalked up to the storyboarding, because they would do the storyboard and then send it to the animators in Korea and then the animators in Korea would just animate it exactly as the storyboard was drawn. If you were crafting the storyboard and you were really good at mimicking or, or a style, right? Mm -hmm. uh, all of your artists who are doing that storyboard can make it consistent. Yeah, but the storyboard, I thought, was just, a, like, a, a sketch idea of what you want the story to go like. You just had to fill it in is. the blanks. So why would they heavily rely on the storyboard to be 100% accurate? Because it's cheaper. To, okay. but uh, it's, it's, it's cheaper to just draw the storyboard and send it somewhere else. And they do it like that, I imagine, because it's it's faster. Um, Okay. <laughs> But, you know, if they had done the storyboard and then maybe sent them some clean sketches, like cleaned it up and actually made it, you know, good, and then sent it over, then it would be better. But the the point I'm trying to make is if it was consistent, then there wouldn't have been so many sizing issues. Yeah. Um, I remember my point now. Uh, I was, work when I was in high school, I had a friend, and I was drawing on my tablet at the time, one of my characters... And they were watching me draw, and they're like, "Wow, I'm so impressed. I don't know how you, how it is you can draw the same character over and over again and make them look exactly the same." And since then, I've been baffled that some people can't draw the same character multiple times the same way. So usually, all the drawings that they do are different every time. I don't, I don't think it's an issue if people are mimicking art styles because art styles are so interchangeable and fluid and just they all over the place you know now i would like to make a point that mimicking our style is very different from tracing over someone's art <laughs> yes yes tracing <laughs> is not good <laughs> <laughs> now, I, that can go back into the copyright thing because i i'm i think you can sue people for tracing your art because you're technically stealing it yes but i feel like you could do it in a way so like Back when I was in the Sergeant Frog uh, community, I was tracing over screenshots of the TV show, okay? Mm -hmm. Just to... And I was posting it on there. But I did post the, like, the original picture right beside it. So... Right. While I was doing it technically for fun, I also realized that how I've been drawing them was not at all canon how they draw it. <laughs> so in oh. a way, it taught <laughs> me how to draw in canon yeah, form. Yeah, I get what you're getting at. I'm not- I don't think tracing is necessarily bad in of itself. I think it's a very useful tool for learning anatomy and learning how to draw. But it's a problem when you're taking those drawings and you're posting them and then- and then you're saying- you're claiming that you created them. Solely you, you know? No yeah. credit. That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't think that- I would personally post any traced photos because I do trace like 
references sometimes. Like if I'm having a really hard time drawing a hand, I'll go Google a hand and I'll <laughs> I'll be like, I I've spent two hours on this one hand and I'm sick of it and I'll just trace <laughs> I'll trace the hand as my sketch and then go over the sketch, right, and make edits or whatever. Or um same thing with poses, you know? Yeah. I usually don't sketch on top of poses. Unless I'm having a really, really hard time with it. And I I know that in the professional field, too, lots of big-time, big professional artists also will trace their references to learn the anatomy and get the posing figured out properly. I saw this one person, I think it was on TikTok, and there, it was like a voiceover of them doing their work. And they're like, do you guys ever just Frankenstein your references? And basically, they get a bunch of references <laughs> offline cut crop and edit and put everything have, in the image i have done that before and it was like a picture of a girl like a fairy sitting in a teacup looking out to the sunset and like the the frankenstein photoshopped realistic pictures of everything sitting there and thinking to myself how have i never done this <laughs> this is so much easier to draw backgrounds <laughs> I would say you have to be careful with that, though. If you're going to trace and keep what reference you're using, like, as, you know, if you're going to trace it and keep it as is, um, you should make sure you're using stock images or taking your own photos. Because there is, uh, there is legal grounds for you to get sued if that person happens to find your artwork and is like, hey, they traced over my artwork, you know? That's the problem, is tracing over other people's artwork and then posting it and saying that you drew it. That's that's where the line is crossed. Oh, I wasn't... I didn't know... I don't know if they actually stole, I guess, professional photoshopped images, or photo images, but it's nice to know that you did that a few times. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I've never tried that, and I was really tempted to do that with a picture I recently did with, you know, the house, the two houses in the background and all that mm -hmm. stuff. But I was like, uh, I don't really feel like doing all that extra work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I, I hate drawing, what is it, point of views, or we have a point. Oh, somewhere. yeah. It's so difficult. I use those a lot when I'm doing my dynamic posing, or if I'm having a hard time with a certain perspective perspective of looking down or looking up at a character is yeah. so difficult. <laughs> I think it depends what the character is shaped like. If they have a long snout, I'm not doing a, a bottom-to-top perspective. That's not gonna <laughs> freaking happen. You won't be able to see anything! <laughs> you'll, only, you'll only see the bottom of their jaw. Like, if it's an alligator, no. <laughs> God forbid they'd be looking down at you. Like, oh, I bet someone out there has mastered it, but not me. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I have a horse character. I've not drawn him facing forward yet. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a couple pictures that people did it. It looks really nice, but I'm like, I'm scared to try to create. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, I have a hard enough time with cat snouts. I can't <laughs> figure. <laughs> And it's the three-fourths. Like, the front view, fine. The side view, perfectly fine. When it's a three-fourths view or anything in between, it's like... <laughs> it's either way out there or way too close to I the actually, eye. I actually... Hold on. <laughs> I actually saw something like this. Oh, yeah! 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 That's very, very accurate. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's the first thing that popped, <laughs> popped into my head. It's giving me flashbacks. I've seen that <laughs> many a time. <laughs> but anywho, it seems that we've gotten quite off topic. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up. Um, so it doesn't sound like there is too much of a bad idea as far as mimicking or having an art style too close to somebody else's. Because... In reality, it seems impossible. I can think of, of one thing. Yes. I can think of one thing. And it's, um... Uh, and I can understand why this would be a problem. Is, is if you're a popular artist and someone's mimicking your art style, your followers might start following them thinking that they're you. Right? That could be a problem. Especially if they're impersonating you on purpose. Okay, if it's on purpose, yeah, that's a bad thing. 
obviously anybody trying to impersonate anyone for attention, clout, or their followers is not is no bueno. But if you're following them and you like their art style and you mimic their art style, I I I guess I don't really see how it could be an issue. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because you're just admiring them. Obviously, you're not tracing over their art. You just your art style looks very close to them. Right. I no actually let me think. I remember the post because my brother used to follow this uh, person on was Tumblr whose art style was very very close to that of My Little Pony. So close that they actually got a cease and desist by Hasbro themselves. Oh oh whoa. So. Apparently, in some cases, it is possible to have an art style too close. They never drew any of the characters. It's just their art style was so close that people were probably thinking the characters that they were drawing was from the TV show. Yeah. Now, here, I don't know anything about any of that. But, um, if if they were sending a cease and desist... Could they have actually legitimately gone through with a lawsuit, though? I have no idea. I just know they said, stop drawing your art like this. And I remember them posting a picture of the character crying because they couldn't post any more stuff on their blog. Oh my god. So, I have no idea if they actually went through with a lawsuit or anything. And well, I- I, what I'm saying is that sometimes you can send a cease and desist... But just because you can do that, that doesn't automatically mean there's founded grounds for it. Hmm. Like, so if they sent a cease and desist and the person kept drawing, they might try to take it to court and then, you know, they'd end up losing money and probably getting sued by the person because their their grounds for the cease and desist or the suing that they're attempting to do is unfounded and not, not legal, right? Mm-hmm. So sometimes companies can use it as like a scare tactic ah. to get you to do what they want. But I don't know like if they actually would have had the grounds to sue the person or what. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> oh, I have I have no idea. I don't work for Hasbro, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, obviously, there are some places, some cases, if you draw the characters in the art style, doing some stuff, mm-hmm. and it looks too accurate, then it's going to be a problem, because I knew that somebody was making a fan-made game using the main six as right. the fighters, and the game was really good, but they had another, there was another season assist telling them you can't use our characters making this game because it wasn't official by them. So mm-hmm. they changed it to uh, some game called Them Fighting Words or whatever. But it was like a knockoff My Little Pony fighting game. Right. The music for the game actually still exists. You can find it online. It's really good. I kind of wish Hasbro wasn't such a butt because I would have definitely played that game. But I kept wanting <laughs> <did> it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it. it's kind of like making like a custom Pokemon, right? Like, Nintendo has Pokemon copyrighted. But who's to say you post that and you initially created it as a Pokemon and then when you actually posted it, you were like, this is my original species. You know, Nintendo doesn't own that thing you created. They just own the uh, the platform from which you created it from. Yes. Right. So I'm, I'm wondering where the line is drawn with like OCs. So, like, My Little Pony is a very, like, again, the very distinct style thing. It's a very distinct style. You know what it is when you look at it instantly. Yes. But does that mean they have grounds to sue you if you're not drawing their copyrighted characters? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know why that would be the case, but, you know, it's it's like, it, it's really, there's a gray line in there. <laughs> there's a gray line between... Uh, what is copyrighted and and what cannot be legally copyrighted material. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess, yeah, that's where the art style comes in. If if you're not really drawing the characters from that, then I'm not sure where you could actually squeeze in your rights. (laughs) Right. You know, because they can come in and say they stole our property... But then you're like, no, I didn't. I'm not drawing any of their characters. I drew this and created this myself. 
you know it has the likeness but it's not the same it's my creation i came up with it you know so there in 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 cases where that where that is maybe it depends on the court and the judge and who is running the trial and all of that but it's a it's a gray line it's a gray line <laughs> <laughs> but that was an interesting conversation so yeah um there isn't a yes or no answer to that and it's not going to be I just wanted to talk about it. So if anybody out there has their own two cents they would like to add, feel free to put it down in the comment sections below. Please do not cause any like uh, turmoil or anything down in the comments. It's literally just up for conversation, not a debate, not an argument. So let's not make it that. Anyway. Be sure to slap that like button and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what Snack said. Uh, <laughs> thanks for you guys watching. See you guys later. Hey, it's Leanne here. I have no idea what video this end card's going to be at, but hello. So I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that there was a strange pause between the last video and this video. Well, I'm kind of dealing with the situation. First off, I'm not rich. I don't have fantastic equipment. I don't have fantastic internet. I don't have fantastic anything. I literally record from my phone and then I upload it to the cloud so I can download it to my computer so I can use the video and then re-upload it to YouTube. So I'm just basically stuck with this. This means I am dealing with issues because of it. Right now I am not able to get my videos from my phone to the cloud. Where there used to be an easier way to do it but I, this is my only option for right now. This makes it so I can't edit the videos and then re-upload them. However, I do have other ways of recording stuff to upload, so that will probably start back up again. I just don't know the schedule coming up soon, because after May, I'm not really making that many patches unless it's commission or personal interests of patches I want to make myself. Outside of that, back to my social media. I've been doing giveaways since the beginning of June, and May is my last giveaway that I'll be doing for the summer, and then I'm going to try to pick back up in September, but we'll see. That just about sums up everything as far as updates that's going on right now. Um, I would like to thank you guys for watching and watching the past videos. Just stick around, like, subscribe, and be sure to check out the links down below.